Alright then. And come in Scandia. My god, I'm not even halfway through this thing. Then they're already telling me foreign technology is present. I think somebody messed up on this part. Well, let's take a look, though. Alright, I think, uh... Thinking, I think I can deal with this. I don't, I'm not sure if I can, but, um... Let me see, if I, let me see what I can do here. Now, you'll be doing a lot of this stuff in this in this area, and then uh, you'll also find out that there'll be a surprise here. Splash! There you go. Uh, this enemy just likes to surprise you every single time you go through here, and I don't know, he just happens to co to be conveniently placed in this area. And don't worry about those Aqua Reapers, you already scanned them, so... And this space pirate, he's also scannable, just saying. He will actually count as a scan in the game some reason. There's also a scan right here. Which activates the cutscene again. So, I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying this cutscene and don't... These cutscenes, I mean, and don't worry about these flies. They are just here. They're, they aren't on the, like the ink storm in Metroid Prime 2, which, like, kill you and stuff. Alright, I guess I need to throw some puns out there. So, um... I already used chill out. Uh, um, must be getting cold in here. Um, what else is that? What else is out there? Um, can't think of any others. That's all I can think of. Um, sure is a hot day out. I guess you guys need to chill. There you go. Damn it! Was that a variation of a? I ah, forget it. I sort of got. I think I should stop with these gimmicks now. <laughs> Alright, though, here's a new scan, too. This guy is called Aqua Drone. You always have to have. You always have to add Aqua in front of the name if you want it to be Water Type or something. I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense to me, but this is Metroid Prime logic, so I'd rather not question it. Oh, and forgot something here, too. This room also requires you to open doors again with the Wave Beam. Again. So, have fun with that. And also the Ice Beam actually uh, freezes those monsters up there, I mean those turrets forever, so they won't be able to get out. Unlike later on turrets, which I hope I'll leave, which I hope I didn't spoil any, you know, uh, people to the game or something. Alright, though, let's just jump down. Uh-oh, he spotted me. Must be summer. Oh, crap, and he blows up. Oh, but he doesn't blow up in his traditional way, he just blows up. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh wow. Uh, these guys just use, these guys just use their lasers. Enemy enemies underwater are just so freaking easy. And there you go. He just blows up again. Thank goodness of that. Now I can live my Metroid Prime ways and stuff like that. This is a cordite wall, by the way. Um, I mean a cordite door. Just shoot it down with a super missile, and surprise, surprise, you get for wasting five missiles, you gain five missiles. And there you go. What the hell? Oh. And right here is another wave beam door panel thing. And voila, cutscene. And if you remember this room, this room is a pretty special room to me. Um, it's the actual room that contained the first pirate data lore in this game. And it's not active anymore, and this is also the room that contained one of the Parasite Queens right here. And off to your left, you will see Samus' reflection, and off to your right you see a couple of Metroids. I'm your tour I'm your tour guide for this LP now, folks. Um I'm just joking. Let's just go on. And remember this room? I think this is the room where, I, where it actually had a turret, I'm not sure. And that's a bunch of this stuff that's like glowing, I don't know why. Somebody must have messed up with the coding of the game or something, I don't know. But alright, um Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Now this all this room is also full of the uh well, you guessed it. The doors that require energy to be opened. Again. I mean, if we haven't done this before, then I guess we must do it again. Alright, these guys are also up here too. They are gonna bug you a lot. So I suggest using, um, guerrilla tactic style attacks. So, come on, come on, come on, come on, stop dodging my moves. Come on, come on, come on, come on, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I, I heard these guys are pretty cool. So, I mean, I, I guess I just have to uh, show them the, uh, you know, 
what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm just trying to add a more puns, add some more puns here, and they're not working out for me. Uh, I, you know, this. I think uh, adding puns to this LP will actually just ruin it. And you know, I'm doing a really good job at it right now. Why, why do I stop? You know, I should, I should just just keep on going and add more puns to this. Why not? But uh, okay. Uh, let's see right here, and we powered up this. No, we didn't. I lied. There's a door down there. You just have to forget. Old age, really. Ah, <laughs> uh, where are my dentures and my? Where's my? Uh, where's my? Where's my helmet and my dentures? My God, Metroid Prime. I need spring balls. Whatever though. Um. <sighs> okay, now. Just keep on going through here. I think it's the last door. I might. I may be wrong. But if I'm wrong, then we have another. Oh yes, I remember this area. Whoa, explosion! And he just appears out of nowhere. You know, it's like how you always look at a plastic bag just flying around the whole, uh, flying around the. Uh, I don't know how some people just get amazed by watching a plastic bag flying in the air or something. It's like if uh, you have just ADD, uh, an ADD style of. Uh, fun with that, I don't know. But, uh, oh yeah, these are new aqua sacks, because adding aqua makes them underwater. I mean, makes them automatically resistant to underwater stuff, so. Uh, you might think that, you know, these things are very explosive and volatile and, su and such and such, and may have an invisible blast radius. Um, no, they're actually very pointless. Um, reason why, because look at this, I'm gonna blow it up on, and I'm staying on it, so. I blew it up, ah, oh, it didn't hurt me. And that's it. They don't hurt you. They're just here. And that's all they do. I mean, they're supposed to explode, aren't they? Maybe they fix that in later on Metroid games. I don't know. So out of all the things I got here, I know I got a, I know I got three missile um, expansions in total, and I think I got one energy tank. But how about we want, you know, got some more energy? Now uh, here's another little, small little gimmick of this game. Uh, whenever you see bubbles, that you will actually fly up in the air when you ever use a morphal bomb to launch yourself, and it increases your height. Now, if you can keep this going on, uh, you can. Whoops, sorry. If you, nah, if you can keep this going on uh, for a while, you can actually find out to get yourself a nice little prize here called an, an energy tank. So, oh uh, freaking za! I know it's over. I already, I already know that joke's already been used, but it's cool. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I related that to an ice beam joke. What the hell? Okay, so let's see, Metroid Prime. Ah oh, man. Okay, he's just watching me here. Uh, I'm trying to think of a nice beam pun. That's why <laughs> I can't think of one right now. So, hey, you ever seen that movie? It sure sucked. That's not an ice beam pun. But shut up. Okay. Um. You ever seen Batman Returns? It sucked. That's my ice beam pun. Oh my god, that's just a terrible ice beam pun. I also, I also saw that movie. It's pretty. It's pretty hilarious, actually. All right, so um, did I just kill him? Mm, pretty sure I did. I forgot to scan him. Wow, I am amazing. The uh, reason why those enemies are pretty new, but you can find them anywhere, and you don't have to scan them like immediately, immediately. All right, um. Just going up here for no reason because you don't really have to go up here. But if you want to leave this area, there's a spinner right down here, you know, for your spinning needs. And oh boy, I'm seasick. What uh? I'm saying seasick. I'm getting dizzy. My bad. 